Uh, now we, um, on our prior video, we went over a Dix Hall Pike test, and this is done primarily to diagnose the presence or absence of BPPV or benign paroxysmal positional vertigo. Now, once the diagnosis is made, we're going to go over how to go ahead and treat this. And we're going to assume that uh, this patient has symptoms on the left side. So they have um, symptoms primarily when they lay down uh, and turn their head to the left side. Uh, and because of that, we're going to have um, Jennifer turn this way. So face that wall. So, and this mat table, um, scoot towards the window for just a smidge. There you go. So what you want to do, I actually scooch back probably about another inch. You want to position yourself on the on a bed where when you lay down the head is going to um, lean, fall off the, the edge of the bed. And so we're going to turn the head to the left and we're going to do it on this side because based on her symptoms we think that this is going to be her primarily her symptomatic ear because she rolls over uh, on her left side, she gets symptomatic. We're gonna have her come straight back, have her head hang off the side of the bed here. And you can see here that this um, uh, head is at a 45 degree angle. So if we were to draw a line from the nose to the back of her head, it will be coming off in this direction here. And you wanna stay in this position for as long as it takes the dizziness to go away, which is typically about 15 to 30 seconds. Now, if a person does not get dizzy in this position, that means they do not have the loose crystals in this position, and you do not need to do this procedure for this ear. So this is only if they get dizzy in this, um, in this position here. So we wait until the dizziness goes away, uh, and then we turn the head 90 degrees to the other side. So now we're 45 degrees off to the opposite direction here. Again, we wait in this position for as long as it took the dizziness to go away in the first position, which is 15 to 30 seconds. Then you roll over on your uh, shoulder here, all the way over, and then you wanna turn your head another 45 degrees. So now you're looking down at the ground, another 45 degrees. And this is treating the left ear. So you start with the head turned to the left and then you slowly in incremental fashion roll over on your right side. You stay in this position until the dizziness goes away. And then um, with your hand, you can push up here on the bed and sit straight up like this, right? Now, a lot of times people will roll back on their back and then sit up, but you wanna sit directly up from that position. And then when sitting up, uh, the crystals will sometimes fall back in the proper position and can cause a sudden sensation of falling or floating. That's not a bad thing, it's actually good. That means the crystals are back in the right position. Now, after you've done this and you've um, <clears throat> waited a, a, an additional probably minute or two, you can repeat the entire uh, process again. And if the crystals have moved back in the proper position, then you should no longer get dizzy when you lay down. Uh, if you do get dizzy on the second test, you can just repeat the process again. Now, just to, as this um, procedure we just did, this was a uh, left um, Epley maneuver uh, treating the for a left ear that's symptomatic. So if the left ear is symptomatic, you start on the left side and then you slowly in an incremental fashion roll over to the right side. In another video, we'll uh, review what to do for right-sided BPPV.